Hey guys, welcome again to another video here on our channel. Today we're going to be flying on American Airlines 787-800 on Economy Plus class. So today we're going to be evaluating how this trip will go, be evaluating the Economy Plus experience uh, from here, from Zurich, all the way to Philadelphia on American Airlines. I hope you stick around and enjoy watching the entire trip. And if you did, be sure to actually smack the like button. And if you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe to our channel. All right, let's go. We found ourselves this morning in Zurich Terminal 2 to catch our flight back to the US after spending one and a half week here in Europe between London, several locations in Switzerland, France and Italy. It's a lot of travel in less than two weeks so we were ready to head back home. We will try to have the vlog video for what we did but with most of our vlogs for travel they are really not watched so we don't put that much effort on them. If you would like to see those let us know in the comment below. As you can tell this is right before Christmas in 2022. We checked in for our flights and we had a bit of an issue checking in for our flight as one of the agents performing our security check decided to interrogate me and later caused me to go through random security, quotation mark, having the SSS S or the quadruple S on my boarding pass. And from that day on, I have been going through random airport security for some reason. Given that this was during Christmas time, the airport was beautifully decorated for the season. I have heard a lot of people complaining about the Zurich airport and I just can't see why. To me, this is a beautiful airport. I do understand that the satellite area where most of the non-Schengen flight depart from can lack a bit of food options, but from this area of the main terminal, it's really nice. Given that you have to go through immigration, I will say budget about 30 minutes for that, but spend most of your waiting time in the Schengen area. We made our transfer to the satellite area, given that we have access to lounge there. American Airlines uses another lounge here, but access is limited to one guest. Given that we have priority pass, we went through the Aspire lounge instead. This lounge, although small, it is great lounge for you to wait for your flight. When it's packed, it can be a bit crowded and take away from the experience, but when it's quiet and empty, it's a really great place to be. One of the coolest aspects of this lounge and many others here at Zurich International Airport is the ability to sit by the terrace and watch the plane take off and land. This is where I was able to record the introduction video. You also have great views of the Alpine Mountains. The camera does not do justice of these views, especially when the sun starts to rise. Back on the inside to see the food options available. Given that this was a morning flight, they had breakfast items that were being served. In addition, they had both non-alcoholic drinks and alcoholic drinks, which meant that it was okay for us to enjoy mimosa in the morning. Don't judge me. As the sun started to rise and the beautiful backdrop of the Swiss Alp started to appear, I took the kids to the balcony so that they can tire themselves before this 9 hour flight back to Philadelphia. We try to find places that will tire them up before getting on a long flight. Whether that works or not, it's another topic. We also enjoyed the takeoff and landing of the planes, which is always a great thing to do as an aviation enthusiast. And as right now, we are at the Aspire Lounge and it has this beautiful lounge outside that you can be able to actually get up close to the planes. You can see it and there's my flight. There's our plane that we're going to be taking today back to Philadelphia. This shouldn't be a full flight, but we should be able to see how everything goes in there. It was time for us to head to a boarding gate and we were departing from gate E34. I was again selected for another random security check. Um, so I went to the random security check and now we're getting to board on a flight to US. Ever since this flight, I have been selected for random security check globally. Do you think I'm in a naughty list? What could I have done possibly to be selected for random extra security check? Anyways, 
Welcome to this American Airlines Boeing 787 Premium Economy Class. As we are flying on this cabin, our video will be concentrated just in that class. Business class is in the front of the cabin, then the premium economy and last economy where my family is sitting. I have provided explanation for the reason behind this on my previous video and I will link it here if you want to see it. The premium economy is configured in the 232 configuration. These seats are basically the first class seats that you will get on the flight in the US. They are wide and spacious, giving you enough room for you to use during the flight. For years now, I have flown on other airlines premium economy just to compare between these seats and their business class seats to see how they differ. We have tried United, Japan Airlines, and British Airways to just name a few. To be quite honest, from the first glance, this seat or cabin does not sound bad, especially in comparison to the economy class seating. Also, when it comes to the cost, these seats can be thousands of dollars less than seating in business class. So I call them the sweet middle as you get to experience a bit of elevated service than what is offered in the economy class, but just a tad below of what is offered in business class without breaking the bank. However, there are times that these cabins are in high demand than the business class. The cost sometimes is just few dollars than the business class, which in that case, I will go with the business class. Now, as far as the seating area itself, as previously mentioned, the space is similar to the first class cabin in the domestic US flight. There is plenty of leg room that you can stretch out pretty well. The few complaints of the space is that if you are sitting in the window seat or you are in the middle seat of the middle row, you don't have direct access to the aisle, which can be annoying when trying to use the restrooms. Other than that, no issues. Given that this is a premium cabin, there are amenities that are offered on this flight. So let's review that. You get a pair of headphones. They are not fully noise canceling, but they are at least 70% noise canceling. You also get Shinola Detroit bag. This is a much lighter version than what you get in business class. In addition, a blanket for usage during the flight and a pillow. Given that this is not a life flat seat, the pillow is designed to support while laying in the recline mode. There's a massive 11 inch screen here in comparison to the 8.9 inches that you will find in the economy. There's also a remote controller for you to use if you didn't feel the need to touch the screen. Underneath the seat in front of you, you have the foot rest, which takes away the space for you to put your smaller items such as book bag. There's a power outlet just on the side between the seat and the neighbor for you to charge your electronics and also an aux plug for the IFE. If you're sitting in the window seat, you get two windows. One important amenity that is seem to be missing more and more is the individual air vent available. More and more airlines are getting away with it, but I appreciate it when one is available. However, there seems to be one thing missing. So one thing I've noticed so far is that on the other flights such as British Airways or uh, Qatar Airways, if you're sitting on the Economy Plus, you get a welcome drink. But on this flight, there's none, even though it's an empty flight. So maybe they'll be giving something later on. So we'll wait and see if that's something that is true or not. Um, again, so far, first impression is pretty good. So, so far, so good. There was none given. Per my earlier statement, this flight was empty and with that I had the entire row all to myself, which means I can go to the bathroom without disturbing anyone. Speaking of the bathroom, let's review it before it gets too dirty to even stay there. Premium and economy class both share the same bathroom. Therefore, no amenities that are offered in the business class are here. You get standard things such as cup, soap, etc but it has a huge mirror for you to obsess over yourself. For parents flying with smaller children, there's a changing table if needed. Let's get back to our seat and get ready to sit, relax, and enjoy our flight. So we're all boarded and ready to go to Philadelphia. Given that this was during the World Cup, there was a live TV and I watched all the games. What a great feature for soccer or football fanatics, removing the anxiety while in the air. We started our pushback to taxi to the runway. As we taxi, this will be a great place for me to welcome new friends to our family. We are so grateful for all the love and support that we get from this channel from you. Without you, we wouldn't be where we are. We are on a journey to 2K and we know this will be possible with your support. So if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing.
We don't get paid by the airlines to provide you with this content. It is purely our opinion and there's no influence from the airline on what we show or say. So thank you for trusting us with our honest review with either the flights or hotel reviews. Given that there were not a whole lot of flights leaving at the time of our departure, we made it quickly to the runway for takeoff. About 20 minutes after takeoff, the onboard meal service started. I was a bit curious to see what is offered in this premium economy class. Other airlines just offer the same food you will get from economy class, but not in today's flight. They started us with a package of cold nuts paired with a drink of choice in a plastic cup. It took another 15 minutes before main meal was served. So I killed the time by watching more soccer game. Now, I don't recall the options available for this flight, but I went with the beef option. As you can tell, the meal was provided all in one single tray, which is okay for me, but it just doesn't sound premium. As for the presentation, they didn't even bother to remove aluminum cover on the plate, which didn't bother me too much. The meal is served on a similar plate that is done when flying in domestic first and in business class. The meal was good and I ate the majority of it. The only downside is the dessert that was offered and it was super hard for me to even try to eat it. Just listen to it. I decided to eat the ice cream instead. Then it was time for me to recline my seat and try to get some sleep. Given that the passengers in the first row declined to close their window shades, there was light in the cabin, which made it difficult to sleep. Two hours before landing, they served the second meal of the flight, and this time I went with the pasta salad. I wasn't a fan of this meal, but did enjoy fruit option. We started making a descent to Philadelphia, and this means it's time for me to give my overall review of this flight. For a nine hour flight, if given the option to sit in economy or this cabin, I would choose this if the price is close enough. I would pay a fair difference of anywhere between 100 and 300 from the economy class. Although you don't get a live flat seat, you get a large seat with a plenty nice recline. There's also a lot of leg room and there's a huge divide between you and your seat mate, which you don't get in the economy. Their overall flight was good. There was however, limited interaction with the crew with the exception of when they came around and served food and cleaned them away. Maybe it was just this particular crew. Given that the cabin was empty, I will expect a bit more interaction with the customer in this class, but there was none. Other than that, the food was good and the seat was spacious, and the entertainment was just right for this flight. We left Zurich and arrived in Philadelphia on time, so that is a plus. Will I ever fly on American Airlines Premium Economy, or do I recommend it? The answer is yes and yes. Yes to recommendation of this class given the reason I provided previously. And yes to trying them again given the price is right and is on the long haul where I'm not able to get business class seat through either upgrade or reward ticketing. Speaking of reward ticketing, my family is sitting in economy class since their ticket were purchased using miles and at the time of this trip, American Airline did not offer upgrade on reward tickets. But they have since made that change. Have you flown an American Airlines Premium Economy lately? If you did, how was your experience? Would you recommend it? Leave a comment below to help fellow travelers. If you are planning to take a flight with American Airlines soon on this cabin, is this what you're expecting it to be? Also leave a comment below. Remember to always be friendly in the comments.
We land in Philadelphia and we taxi to our gate, where we later the plane going through immigration and customs. We want to thank you for watching this video. If you enjoy watching this video, hit the like button and share with many friends. If you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss when we drop a new adventure. See you on the next one.